Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're all keeping it together. Anyway, let's jump straight into it. So I want to talk about the AI super cycle. I think it's incredibly important to have very good AI projects and we'll talk about them. But to start off our day, I wanted to look at the price action for SUI. Listen, fundamentally, this hasn't changed, right? It is a great project. It is going to be the super, super project of this cycle. Make, make no mistake about it, guys. Not because I've, I hold SUI, but I think this is an incredible entry. So what I suggest you do, I've already put out a DCA alert to my group much earlier than this. If you're looking at a chain which has a lot of upside, make no mistake, SUI right now has lost about 14% in TVL in the last seven days. That's good. The other outstanding performer here is uh, base, but let's let's look at SUI and see where we can actually make some gains. Now, the TVL is under a billion. The price obviously has come down, but CETA still remains a fantastic project with a 188 million in TVL. So if you don't owe SUI, right now, CETAS is your play. CETAS is the play. Of course, there's deep finance and there's turbos and SUI pad. You are going to make money from the SUI ecosystem. What do I mean by that? Well, if you if you look at a week ago, two weeks ago, everybody was just FOMOing. Now you've got things like FUD, meme coin, probably one of the best meme coin, these two, FUD and Blub. They're both down in terms of market cap massively. So this is really going back all the way to seven zeros, FUD is eight zeros. Right now, it's quiet. This is when you should be taking advantage of SUI, in my opinion. Then you've got SUI pad, but my main focus would be first, looking at D protocol as well, or oh, sorry, D book, $200 million in market cap has come down significantly, 24 hours, 18% dump. This is good guys, this is good stuff. CETAS, 14% over the last seven days, Still only at $46 million market cap. People are talking about Moonwell. They're talking about the base ecosystem. I've been posting about that stuff. You know, I've got a whole entire section in my Patreon dedicated to DeFi ecosystem and a base ecosystem as well. All right. So check us out if you want to know these things. But I've posted about, for example, Spectral AI, Virtuals Protocol, um, and definitely uh, CETUS and also Moonwell many, many months ago. And all of a sudden now everybody's going to FOMO. And before we talk about AI, let's talk about Moonwell, guys. Do not buy this right now. It's on to price discovery. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, I was posting this as, a, as an alert at one cent. Right now, it's on price discovery, guys. You do not buy projects on price discovery. Facts. It's going to pull back. Wait for your turn jump in the line, and then jump on. But you've got to have, as an investor, you've really, really got to have certain standards in terms of what you're willing to pay for a project. So if you look at this right now, you've obviously got a lot of price action there. On the full hourly, 38% retracement is always a healthy, healthy, healthy retracement. So do not FOMO. I'm not saying, listen, if you already owe this and you think it's going to shoot up to a billion dollars tomorrow, nothing goes up in a straight line. I mean, if you think about prices of, you know, <laughs> really, I mean, look, these moves going from one cent all the way, or even if we take this local one here from two cents here, these things don't happen, guys. Don't you, It doesn't work like that. It doesn't definitely work like that. So... What I would say is be patient with it and put it on your watch list, but do not FOMO. Everything comes down. Now, interestingly, before we talk about the AI super cycle, so to answer the first question that I was uh, posing, is is it a good time to buy SUI? You bet, 100%. It is time to buy SUI right now. There's never been a better time. And in terms of retracement, guys, there are some key levels here, but you can see this level has been hit once, twice, three times. This is the biggest support level that SUI has. But this is what I love about crypto. All of a sudden right now, 
everyone is feeling bearish. <laughs> also, Sui, you know, influencers are incredible. Uh, they're all moving to Aptos now. Guys, the X1 is going to come here. You know, the, the X1 is one of the most bullish, um, you know, handheld devices like the Solana phone. Right, a new Solana phone's coming out, so you've got to be objective, guys. But this is a very strong um, level. It's also at the golden pocket, fifty percent retracement. Listen, guys, could we see six one eight? Potentially, I mean, six one eight is in play right now. So at the key levels here, if we do break down, uh, these are some really, really good levels to buy Sui. But start DCA in now. All right. And uh, like like I said, Moonwell, it's Moonwell is ripping. And um, because it's ripping, I'm not interested right now. And that's all she wrote. Guys, you got to talk about, you got to buy stuff influencers are not shilling at, at a massive level. Now, Cetus, on the other hand, Cetus offers you a way, way better entry. Because what you have here, look, Cetus came down. And I love this chart, by the way. So if you look at this in the four hourly candle, Cetus has actually come down quite nicely to that 50% retracement level, bounced off a little bit. There is resistance right here, guys. I think it's very obvious. There's resistance here. Boom. This resistance right here is, is kind of key. So it actually falls into that 38% level as a resistance but in order to accumulate i would say a very good bag i would still consider this to be a very very good area of interest for cetus now if it holds obviously this level because this has been prior resistance at the 50 percent level and then it's been support you know has hit that a couple of times definitely a good good place to accumulate more but at this level if it comes down to that 14 cents then what you want to be doing is maybe splitting your um orders into like three and then boom you know one two three and uh yeah you start to see that price will be in your favor because i feel like an election sell-off is going to be on the cards i just feel like it i'm not being <laughs> i'm not being pessimistic but if there is a sell-off Get, keep some powder to the side. Now, what are other uh, projects that are good to buy right now? Let's have a look at Tectum. So Tectum right now, and you can see here, Tectum right now is, you know, it's coming down. And uh, unfortunately, if you look at the overall price pressure here, it's always been, um, in my opinion, that it will come down to this level where it's at right now, maybe bounce along a little here, but it's got to find support here. So if you look at this level here, this is a huge level where we are right now. Very, very big. If you go to the daily chart, you'd see it a lot, lot better here. So you want to hold this. You really, really want to hold this uh, level. So this is, again, you know, very, very simple in terms of where, where you think the price is going to go it's almost always very, very clear to me that the price sometimes finds its feet and then it stays there before it's obviously going to react. So if you've got big price action here, then resistance, then you've got another resistance here. It broke above it, came back down, broke down from this level. And then entirety of this move here, you know, and there's a number of days this has been resistance, resistance, resistance. So it's actually broken above that, found it as support. And right now we are testing this level again. So if you look at from that level, if we drop below here, right, you can see if we break this uh, support, I mean, you're looking at, you're looking at around $7 as the next target. It's right there on the chart very clear clear as a daylight you know resistance over here sorry yeah resistance here uh support here and then it comes down it breaks down below that and then it breaks above it so this is kind of the range right this is the range that it's been actually going in so the bottom of that range is what this level here 
I don't think it sees that at all, guys. It will find, it will be just fine here. So I'm expecting this to chop around here for a few days, right? Look how this plays out. Boom, 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 before we go boom, right? You know that this is this is how this is how it always happens every every cycle so or every every project now other juicy projects to talk about guys and you notice i'm just focusing on layer ones at the moment because obviously we want to we want to have more opportunities with some of these big projects but right now again say it's looking kind of juicy as well so anyway guys you can see what's going on with majority of our projects. I mean, this is right now coming down to that 65% uh, level that we drew out here. Wow. So if you look at this right now, bang in the middle, absolutely like clockwork. So this is a good time to be looking at, you know, it has to hold here. It really, really has to hold this level. So you know, if, if it breaks below this, I mean, it's broken that support level here. This was the key level, guys, for say. I still think we're going to get more juicy prices on say, in my opinion. But that's if it doesn't hold here. If it doesn't get reclaimed back that level, then, yeah, it could be it could be down a little bit more, all right, to that 786. So I would probably accumulate more say if and when that comes at that level there. Smash a like, guys. There's a lot of alpha in here, by the way. You know, people need to appreciate that. So, yeah, smash a like, guys. And I'm always going to deliver you content that's honest enough for me to convey what I feel like is happening in the market. And again, you know, I did, again, I posted stuff on the Discord. My main thing is now focusing on key projects, staying solid on those projects, and let the rest of the market do its thing. So if something else pops off, I don't really care. It's going to be an AI super cycle. You know, screw the meme super cycle. I mean, I'm not ignoring memes totally. You know, I like clouds. I like accelerated uh, efficiency. I, you know, I like base chat. I like Andy on base. I like Andy on blast. Uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. But I want to focus fundamentally. I want this to be the home of fundamental projects because i think ultimately the memes will induce enough stress a lot of people will get wrecked and ruined <clears throat> and therefore they'll end up crying at the end of the cycle <laughs> it happens every time and this is now going for me to nft territories so let's have a look let's continue guys so the rise of base and the rise of astronomical rise of the tvl up 14 percent along with Solana. So base right now is matching Solana for uh, growth for growth. You can see Polygon has woken up and nobody gives a damn about Polygon and Sui is tucked away in that top 10. All right. So some of these projects on base, no doubt, will be quite important, of course. And I, I expect to see base growing really well. Now, Moonwell, price discovery, we talked about virtual protocols, fantastic project. Again, it's one I caught early and I never caught enough of it. It's, you know, you win some, you lose one. That's all it is. But if you look at some of the key, uh, so what's the market cap today? 400 million. I mean, that is, you know, this, is ha this has gone super nuclear, guys. And it is fully diluted, you know, no jokes here. Some of my people have made about 10x, 5x from virtual protocols. Well done to those guys. Absolutely brilliant. But if you look at some of the beneficiary projects outside of that, we're looking at the likes of Echelon Prime. All of a sudden, Moonwell has caught up in terms of market cap. I think that's a sleeper there. You know, you've got MPC. If you're looking for a decent meme coin, you can still buy that on the base chain. And then you've got Spectral. Now, Spectral is going to have tons of uh, big KOL shill in it. Again, I caught this at $5. $4.70 was my post in the group. That's going to go massive. That Spectral, I mean, some people at the time when I posted it, they didn't even like it. <laughs> like you know the team there's you know people are picky right like you know some people like it some people don't but when it prints green candles trust me everyone's gonna fall more into it i would start looking at some of the more prominent based uh memes that are still undervalued i think toshi is probably worth a look there is a mavia on base love it 
Alifim is an inter interesting project, guys. If you're looking for a very good deep in project that is way, way undervalued, I don't actually owe this. I did trade it last year uh, or earlier in the year. But Alifim right now, Alifim is a good project. Take a look at that one. And then, of course, Extra Finance was one that was always on base. Right now, it hasn't got, I mean, this was at one point, same market cap as Moonwell. Uh, but you will find a lot, a lot of, lot of good projects here. You go base Pepe, $21 million right now. And of course, Chad was the one that did incredibly well, but Chad is under $10 million. And I think Chad, Chad could have a very, very good, um, uh, very good, uh, future because Chad is, you know, it's got the, it's, it's got the ticker, right? Chad, you know, Giga. Giga Chad went for Giga. This is Chad. I think there's there's something there. Alien Base, 50% up. Holy Lord. Still only $13 million in terms of market cap, but that is incredible. This has been sitting around here for donkeys, right? So yeah, congratulations to all those that hold Alien Base. And for those of you who don't know what Alien Base is, basically bringing alien tech to humans. Bridge, and I think this one is way better value right now on a pullback than most of the other projects like the ones that have gone nuclear so far okay so you can actually if you if you do the work you can actually find some bangers here look base chad up 20 percent, still only seven million dollars in market cap chad i think this is the th this is the best <laughs> this is this is the best ticker in in memes I'm telling you, like Giga Chad went to multiple, multiple millions. Base Chad is one that I've been watching, and I think it's doing really, really well. Andy has has been disappointed, but I think Base memes will will pick up. Crash is another one, so that's Base for you guys. And then in terms of AI, of course, AI is always going to be a, a topic of discussion in this channel. I've added more to based AI, I've added more DAI, I've added more Aether. I think this is where I'm looking at, uh, and of course I hold AI tech and AGI, and I'm sneakily watching the performance of Cubic. AI super cycle, guys, is going to be here. Quite surprising to see, of course, the Lysium, uh, one of the best performers, did 9x this year down slightly but that's an opportunity guys and then of course tars protocol the bullish alpha here is that they might be shipping an app with the new solana phone so you got to keep a keep in mind maybe that could be something for you but i've narrowed my list down with the community to about four to five ai projects you know, based AI, AGI, AI tech, we've got DAI. DAI, I'm actually going to start going super heavy on because uh, it fits in line with what I really see as the future of AI. And then, of course, I'm watching Cubic very heavily. I do have a small bag of Cubic, guys. Anyway, the AI super cycle is here. Base has grown exponentially. You need to be playing the base game. And today, you need to be dollar cost uh, averaging into SUI. Base is going to be you know, you know, ginormous guys. You know, at the end of the day, addresses are picking up. So, you know, the growth in TBL, the address pickup. And again, you know, if you're if you're if you're chasing Moonwell or Spectral, Spectral is probably better entry than Moonwell right now, but just wait for Moonwell to come down from price discovery and then go in, guys. All right. Yeah, I hope you like the show. Smash a like, and I'll catch you on the next one, guys. God bless. Take care.